Hello and welcome into Factorio Fix It. My name's Negative Root and let's get great. We've got a bit of a different episode today uh, on the forums. N9103 um, has been helping me out, giving me a few ideas on how um, to uh, best play the game. And I, I asked him to send send one of send through one of his saves because he sounds like he knows what he's doing. Now I've been having a bit of a look and the short answer is... Um, yeah, he, he does know what he's doing. So this is going to be, yeah, more of a showcase than anything. Um, I'm going to correct a few very, very minor things. But mostly we're going to have a look at uh, how someone who's quite good at the game uh, goes about it. Now, what we want to do is just uh, sort this out for starters. I just noticed this now. Oops. We need a few of them. Now... What I'm thinking, Ooh, not quite enough room, because this material fr flow uh, is going to be quite important moving forward. Now we'll just grab another splitter, see if we can get this sorted out. Okay. Now what I want to do is something along the lines of this. Okay. Now I need to get the coal up and over here now. Now before I go ahead and do anything else, I need to just ensure pressurization there. Hmm. So the belt possibly isn't quick enough for, to do what we want it to do, but anyway. So let's uh, work out how we're going to get this um, back on the right side. So we'll come up here, do that. Wonderful. So we're about to get logistics, which is very, very handy. So we'll see if we can get them up and running. Okay. Oh, nearly. There we go. Hmm. Alright. We'll leave that for a moment. And we'll start to move on a little bit. Now, something that's actually going to be really helpful for you guys at home. Some lights. Now, The uh, this factory has um, yeah three three of the four sciences up and running, so he's got all the way to blue science in four and a half hours, which is very very good. And he's set up you know lots of um, things just off this main bus running it down here, you know lots of lots of copper cable running off of um, these green circuits. Let's see what the hell. Okay, I think that's missing one. Either that, or there should be another factory down here. Just looking at how the design works. Actually, that that's going nowhere, that one. Hmm, I don't know. Let's just uh, see if we can correct it and make it work. Hmm. So this this is very, very um, strong. You can see that these <laughs> we're making a lot of a lot of red circuits right now, which is required, believe me. The big thing though is there's no there's no dedicated uh, green circuit creation apart from over here. So I think that uh, what we might actually do is come down here and do something with um, green circuits. Now, something that I'd, I'd, I'm just noticing about this factory is that the everything is just picking it up off the line, which means that as we get further through the factory, 
you'll see that the density of the iron is slowly decreasing. We're getting to here, you can see it's pretty much full over there, but we're getting down to here and it's getting quite low. Normally the way you want to do the central busters on is with uh, splitters. So you split off 50%. You, it does, this kind of thing will still happen, but it will force some resources to the later stages. See, what I'm thinking about with this green science um, construction, manufactory, um, if I put it down here somewhere, um, not green science, green circuit, is that if I put too heavy a draw on the iron, it's just going to eat everything. And that could be an issue. So uh, let's, uh, let's just have a look in here. So these are all waiting for stuff. Now what I might do, there's too many corners for me. Okay, same thing. Now he uses a lot of these sorting uh, underground belts, which is fine. What we might do is just uh, rebalance this to increase the line storage a little bit. So there's nothing wrong with line storage, that's for sure. Now. Uh, what we need to do is actually create some sort of buffer storage for these uh, red circuits because we've got them, we've got the capacity there. We might uh, see if we can store a few of them up. should do fine. Right, we want another fast inserter. Right here. There we go. And now, when we've got the overflow, we can um, start to store some of them up. because you're going to need tons of them in the later game. Now you can just switch that later with a logistics chest and boom, it's in the uh, logistics network. Now this is a, a really nice build in here. It's got um, lots of sorting going on. Um, obviously these require three inputs. Now something I wanted to do was actually work this out. So this needs to filter out gr gear wheels. That's right. <coughs> oh, very sorry bless me because before it was just a dumb inserter and it was picking up um, a bit of ammo you notice that ammo is coming through on on this side of the line we really don't want that so this is overflow now oops I didn't want that one I wanted one of them shut I plate now. Okay. There we go. Here it is. Let there be light. Right here. So very nice capsule factory. You notice that it'll put it back out onto this line using the minimum amount of belts required because we're going to have a spare side on the on the green circuits. Brings it down and around. And then we have this. Um, it's a smart chest set up with two wire conditions. I'll just get rid of this tree so hopefully you can see. Now the green wire comes to here and it says, right, I want you to work when there's less than 30 of the uh, little uh, green capsules, the defender capsules in the box. And this one's uh, working when there's less than 30 distractor capsules. You notice that this is starting to back up now, so that's really nice. Uh, that's cool, that's all good. Right, there's our logistics system. 
So what we might try and do now is just to have a look at all of this and make sure that all of this is working right. And what I'm thinking, see right now I'm not sure about all of this. Um, seems to be working fine. seems to be. So I'm not sure of the thoughts behind the design, so whether it should be splitting it two ways or not. Um, so what we might do is we're going to set up a bit of a quick factory down here. And this factory is going to make factories. <laughs> Your dog, I like you. I hear you like factories. So I'll put a factory in your factory. <laughs> uh, right. Now, I'm going to need to get some iron from somewhere. Okay, you're moving to this side. And actually, we're going to need to pick that up too. Because what we're going to need to do There we go, that'll make it. Wonderful. Wasn't sure if it was going to. But that's uh, really good news. Because now what we can do is just split this line off here. So we can move that up by one. That's fine. Lati eight. Come here with this. what we need to do is build it something like this this is going to make gear wheels this is going to make these something like that anyway probably ruining um, N9103's space right now by prolonging this here, but uh, anyway, I think it makes sense to me. It makes sense to me to put it here anyway. Let's put it that way. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to split first split off one of them right there. Okay. Now we want to what do we want to do? Okay. Now the reason I'm automating this is firstly to uh, just show the build. But also secondly, because there's actually going to be a fair bit of upgrading that uh, probably needs to happen uh, if we're going to you know, make a, a quick run through the late game. As you see all these uh, level 1 factories everywhere, um, well especially on the green, um, these ones. So it seems like we're going to need quite a few of them. Now, actually a better way of doing here would be to go with a smart chest here with a wire condition. Smart wire, where are you? Where do you go? Here it is. So to the inserter, to the box, uh, green wire condition, work when there is less than 10. It's probably more than enough. Okie dokie. So that should work. Famous last words. So if we... Oh bugger, we don't have bigger power poles yet. Oh well. More power poles needed. Okay, let's get them. Right here. 
So there we go. That is our automated factory uh, sorted. Just don't think that's quite quick enough yet. So it requires quite a bit of gear, as you can see. You know what we might do is just upgrade this and upgrade this. Okay, and we'll start punching them out. Now then. So the only issue I have with this design is it would be, would have been really really handy if there'd been some boxes in between. Uh, it makes no difference whatsoever to the design, but by adding in some boxes, you can then throw, change them into logistic boxes later in the game, and you can have all of these factories now working for you and and doing good things. Otherwise, they're just going to sit there and not not do much. So we're just going to adjust this design somewhat and see if we can make it work a little bit quicker by adding in extra things. <laughs> okay, change of design required. I'm just uh, noticing how all of this this is set up, and it's not uh, it's not going to work that way. All right, so now after it's gone past this, it'll come to here. Good again. So what we'll do is just uh, throw one of these down, going in that direction. The ratio is not right, but it'll do. The perfect ratio is 3 to 2, so close, we're 2 to 1. Now when I turn off, I can see that most things are working now. Oh, except for that one. That one's because that one's full. I reckon it'll be because most things are... This is probably pretty quick. Now we've probably created a bit of an overproduction of, uh, of our green circuits. So that's good. That's what we're after. Okay, so that's that part of the factory. Um, yeah, that that will will expand quite well. The only thing is that yeah, we're going to need some sort of dedicated uh, circuit making. Eventually, somewhere in the factory. Now, what have we got here? So very very shortly, we're going to need steel and uh, engines and all of that kind of goodness. We'll just have a quick look at the oil design. It's uh, pretty compact got advanced iron uh, we're uh, cracking down to light oil and then from light oil nowhere near quick enough into petroleum gas by the looks of it now what do we need solar that'd be really good um, so this this really needs to be expanded um, actually it doesn't Where, where is it going? Is it not going anywhere yet? I think. Oh no, it is. It's um, it's just coming out this way. So this doesn't need to be connected to anything, because um, it will pressurise the pipe equally, and the pipe comes down and around and out to here. So this is making all of our batteries and our plastic. Oh, 
not, so this needs a bit of an upgrade. Oh. That's better. More plastic. So, that's all very nice. So quite a, a compact and, and very good little design there. Uh, only one thing I'd probably do, and I'm not going to do it, because uh, in case uh, N9103 wants his safe back after I've ruined it, would be to disconnect this and make sure the lube's full. Uh, the amount of... The amount of... Um, advanced oil you get out, um, sorry, heavy oil you get out of the advanced processing is only one, so, you know, you can pretty much just, yeah, throw it straight across the lube and not worry about cracking it down until you've got a full tank of lube. Now, yeah. so we'll just have a quick look down here. So we've got outpost. So yeah, very good little factory. There's no, there's no doubts that, uh, and 9103 will actually get through to rocket defense. I think that one's pretty much guaranteed. You know, she's got a really nice um, mining base up here. That's really cool. It's uh, there's only one thing I'd do here differently. Because what'll happen is if this fully pressurizes, it'll it'll only take it from one side. So if we can enforce it um, by rebalancing it what happens is it'll actually uh, it'll actually ensure that you know that there's some draw from both sides okay so that's pretty good I'm okay with that yeah So yeah, from here, obviously, uh, logistics robots will be very shortly. Uh, we'll need um, we'll need uh, science four to uh, be created, but that's a pretty simple matter. This is an interesting design. Um, I don't think I'd do it in any differently, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. It works. You got to keep what works. Um, Actually, there's probably a way of doing it without curves. I'll show you. No, nope, that's not going to work. Because of course, it's, uh, things tend to the to the top. Okay, so what we need to do is just switch things around a little bit. So you notice that they've completely switched over now, which is uh, a bit of a shit, but that's alright. So that way you can avoid, you know, that big spaghetti thing going on. Spaghetti is generally bad. Um, kind of the the best idea with um, belts is to avoid U-turns where possible. Very cool. Alright, well, this has been a demonstration. Um, a showcase, if you will, of uh, N9103's very good factory. He's uh, done a very good job and it will be, um, it's just a matter of time before he reaches rocket defense. Um, all of all of his uh, designs are going to scale very well. We'll just, just grab something cheap, like railway, that's good. Yeah, all of his designs will scale very nicely. Uh, the uh, the central bus is is well thought out. This is is very strong, um, and will be a massive help in the late game. Um, yeah, and I think I've covered it all really. Um, capsules are, are fully backed up now, so that's very nice. Well. Best of luck to him. I've been Negative Root. Thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode where we'll be uh, possibly back to fixing um, 
newer players, uh, factories. Don't know. You want me to play your save? Send it to me. Uh, my email uh, can be found if you look uh, look hard enough, um, or you can just send it to rootnegative at gmail.com. That's me. Uh, right. See you around.